There are so many things that could be said about today's saint, John Bosco, that I don't know where to begin. Hello, this is Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer. And one of the things that we pray for in the traditional morning offering is for the salvation of souls. This is what St. John Bosco, who died in 1888, was all about. Jesus died on the cross to save souls, by which we mean people, body and soul. But because we are now the body of Christ, we are called to join in and continue the work of Jesus, who is the head of the body. We do not literally save people, only Jesus, the one Savior, can do that. But because we are one with him, we can help him in this ongoing work of praying and working for all people to know Jesus, accept him, and be saved. That's the meaning of a difficult passage in St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, verse 24. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church. Please join me now in a prayer of St. John Bosco. My God, fortunate is he who has tasted how sweet it is to work for the salvation of souls. He is not afraid of cold or heat, hunger or thirst, offenses or insults, no, not even death. O Lord, give me crosses and thorns, if only I can save souls. Give me souls, Lord, and take all the rest. O Lord, I wish to make a complete sacrifice of my life to you, to work for your glory until I draw my last breath, bearing patiently all adversities and contradictions in my work. Help me to spend all my strength for the salvation of souls. <laughs>